What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we'll be talking about the recent in-game changes from October 24th and the speculation for the upcoming patch for big game changes. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, guys, I'm going to be running giveaways every 1,000 subscribers, so if you would like to enter the giveaway for uh, the, the first 1,000 subscribers, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. And if you drop a like on any video, that will increase your chances, as well as there is currently a giveaway that is not part of the, the actual giveaway that I was just talking about running in the description. So if you want to check that link out down there and enter that giveaway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, yesterday, we had an issue with the black market... Um, Playing an after, like a, a continuously playing the animation after a game, like you ranked up but you didn't, so that was supposedly fixed. Uh, I swear it wasn't. Uh, general stability increases uh, across both multi or all three multiplayer blackout and zombies, which is to be expected uh, for the next foreseeable future. To be real, um, which brings up a whole different point that we'll get into right after this. But uh, multiplayer, the score streaks, uh, the thresher and the sniper's nest were both increased in fire rate and projectile speed and the sniper's nest duration was increased which is pretty cool because i thought that was a unique streak as you've seen in my video that i have going already uh, if you want to check that out i'll put the little card up there right now um but that's pretty awesome because i, I do while i do feel like the thresher was awesome to begin with it did need a buff a bit on its attack speed it was it was a bit worse than after they nerfed the Warthog in uh, Black Ops 2 because it was coming down a little bit too fast. And it was it was outrageous in Black Ops 2. Gear. They slightly reduced the acoustic sensor detection range, which I'm going to go ahead and say that that's the actual sensor because it didn't sound like the actual audible portion of it, like that you can hear was changed any. So uh, that's actually a quality of life for the user, not uh, a nerf in my opinion. That makes it to you like the... Guys are actually close on the map when, when that red line shows up. Uh, fixed an exploit on Morocco where people were getting under the map. You know, we're going to see those till the end of time in this game. Uh, create a class. Resolved an issue where reactive camos were not appearing correctly in create a class. That's pretty cool. Updated unlock requirement text for the MX9 reactive camo. That's, that's nice. Uh, see miscellaneous long playlist names now display properly on the multiplayer menu I was wondering about that as like it wasn't centered and I'm like this is something that shouldn't have made it through on a you know triple a game uh, Blackout the inventory for nine bangs has been and clusters have been reduced to one so you can only carry one of each uh, Increased the nine bang charge time and uh, increased fuse time before detonation of the nine bang which, from what I understand, in Blackout has been pretty ruthless of a device to have because it is pretty awful in uh, multiplayer as well. There's, you're just basically dead after you get hit by one of those. Uh, let's see. Reduced dead silence duration to 120 seconds to match awareness. Resolved an issue where multiplayer custom games were not working properly after leaving a Blackout match and opening a custom. That uh, sounds like just all sorts of uh, ghost menu glitch nonsense. But, uh, yeah, okay, so now what I was talking about is I said I would talk about something that touches on uh, the general stability fixes across the game and, and stuff like that. And the biggest problem here is, for me, is that this is a AAA game that had a beta. And if the game had a beta, what, what were we actually testing? If you, like, you know, there is no reason that the beta was, was increased in length but wasn't made open to the public for a longer period of time and actually stress tested. Now, you can come up with all the, I want to cover up the game and leave a bunch of stuff. Well, there was a whole bunch of stuff missing that we had no idea was in the game at all, and now we do know it's in the game. So, in my opinion, that was just a waste of uh, an excuse there. We could have had a better uh, test done to this, and this is like typical for all developers now, is the actual beta test begins once the game is sold, and instead of hurting any pre-sale numbers, 
they're just gonna tell you the game's ready to go and you know give you a beta in some instances that runs smoother than the actual release game and I can understand they wanted to have stability over performance when they released so that you know the servers were down to 20 hertz tick rate I think that's a little bit severe I think that uh, instead of um, you know just cutting the performance of the game servers it probably would have been more cost effective to have just opened up some more servers for the first couple months and you would have got more sales because more people would have been ranting and raving about how amazing the game is you got to remember performance is what's going to keep your players playing not stability um if that was the case then so many of the biggest games that have come out would just fail out like right away because they weren't stable but the reality is is that Games that have performance when it comes down to the end, when they have actual in-game game performance, like having fun, then you're going to have more players at all given times, especially if you're a AAA studio that can fix glitches and bugs at a much faster rate than other studios. So uh, I, would, I would suggest to them that they buff uh, you know, the weapons coming up rather than nerf them but i do feel like personally in my theory is the the icr is going to be nerfed because of the way that they tackle um solving problems so the way that we're going to see this solved is that they're going to go for kill the over what they consider to be the overperforming and you know just let, ride it out otherwise with the underperforming and i don't really think that's the way to go with black ops 4 at the current time with the health the way it is at 150 i think at current times what we should be looking for is ways to bring everything up to par rather than bringing anything down to another level uh, i do not think the icr is overpowered i think the icr's grip 2 is overpowered um, the weapon itself is pretty weak, but I mean, if you're going to take away the toughness from Grip 2, then what's the point of Grip 2? Uh, it's it's a very very sketchy and uh, you know difficult situation to really um, just come to an instant like conclusion with here. But what I would say is that increasing the usability of most other items will make the game better but that's about it for me guys here's two other videos you can watch thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing you guys are awesome until next time have a good one